Recently, I did a breakdown about the Solana project and how I felt like it was going to be one of the next great NFT and game-based blockchains. And so I'm going to take a look at a game that is going to be launching on the Solana platform here pretty soon. And it is beautiful. And the gameplay is a throwback to all these really great classic side-scroller games that you love from your youth. I break it all down. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about a brand new game that is coming out on the Solana blockchain. And it is a beautiful looking uh, game that, uh, you know, incorporates these uh, JRPG type of elements in a 2D side scroller which is obviously not the most popular format that we've ever seen, but I think this game in particular really does it well, uh, kind of all of a Hollow Knight, if you guys played that game uh, on the Switch, it has a very Hollow Knight kind of feel to it, and so they're incorporating NFTs as well as play to earn elements with staking too. So I can't wait to break this down for you and let you guys know, but before we get into all of that, if you love gaming, NFTs, and earning money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash that like button if you want to continue to maximize your gaming profits with me. All right, let's go take a look at today's game. This is a game called uh, Orrery, and Orrery is a 2D side scroller that is going to be on the uh, Solana blockchain. There, there will be a playable beta later this year, but the game itself is beautiful. They are going with a hand-drawn uh, style for the game, which is not something you see often these days with these painted backgrounds. So, so kind of think of like uh, old school Disney movies where they did these painted backgrounds, and that is the kind of feel here. I want to show you guys this uh, demo video, this uh, this preview video, and you can see a really good idea of exactly what I mean here. So you see this really, these really beautiful painted backgrounds with this hand-drawn feel to it. Uh, and you have the, these kind of character battles, right? Uh, which are pretty interesting. I'll explain what those mean and why the NFTs look like this. But look at that background. I mean, it, it, it reminds me of like some of those, my favorite old school RP, uh, JRPGs, you know, the Japanese style RPGs, right? Has that same kind of look and feel to it with the characters and the backgrounds and how they're done. Mining! <laughs> So this is some early gameplay development uh, for the game. And, uh, you know, they have, like I said, they're really just kind of getting started with this. So there should be a beta later this year. But you can see that they already have some playable elements. So they have been working on the game for a little while. Now, this is a, a game that is taking uh, advantage of the Solana rewards that we ta I talked about in one of these latest uh, videos I did about Solana, where Solana is putting up millions of dollars to try and attract uh, developers, creatives, musicians, content creators, uh, to be able to, to develop things on their platform. And so uh, they got a grant from the, uh, from Solana for doing that. And they're also partnered with Serum Dex, which is uh, one of the main DEXs for the Solana platform. Now, uh, this game has, uh, like I said, it has a couple of different uh, ways about this. So they, uh, and you can see here some of the, kind of the really cool artwork here. So like I said, very hand-drawn, cool style, uh, which I really actually love. Uh, and so how this really works is that there are multiple modes and the single player mode is what you kind of saw in that demo where you're, you're running around, you're playing, you're fighting monsters, right? You're battling these enemies and uh, you actually can earn what they call SPL tokens. So the, uh, they'll use these SPL tokens as the kind of core for their gaming ecosystem and you'll be able to earn SL, SPL, I keep trying to say SLPs, but SPL tokens uh, in the game itself. Now, when you fight these enemies and you defeat them, like you saw in, in, the, in the video there, they actually turn into NFTs, which then go into your wallet. Uh, 
So you're actually earning NFTs as you play as well. So not only are you earning in-game cryptocurrency, but you're earning NFTs too. Now, the unique part about this is that these NFTs are then used in turn for the multiplayer mode. So you're going to have more than just one mode. You're going to be able to play multiplayer and kind of PvP against other people. And so the NFTs that you'll then uh, find as you, you battle these enemies in the, in the single player mode, you'll use them in PvP mode and, and uh, you know, in battles against other people. I love that element where they kind of force you to, not force you, but you, 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 you're kind of, you have to be in the single player mode to earn the NFTs. And the NFTs are then used uh, for PvP. So you can't just jump straight to PvP without uh, jumping into the single player mode first. Uh, unless I guess you're just going to buy the NFTs on a DEX. But where's the fun in that, man? We want to go out and adventure and earn those NFTs. Playing and earning is what I love. So, uh, yeah, this PvP mode kind of requires you to then use these NFTs from these enemies that you have uh, you've defeated. And that's what you battle back and forth with the other people. And uh, then, you know, you earn tokens. So essentially what you're doing is you're putting up a certain amount of uh, SPL tokens to go into the PVP mode and battle somebody else. And then the winner walks away with those tokens, right? So the loser is essentially giving those up. And there will be like a leaderboard for these things too. So you'd be able to, uh, you know, see who is the top uh, person there. And uh, and then, uh, you know, be able to, uh, you know, get these rewards as you're, you're moving up the leaderboard and uh, earning more and more uh, for the top ranks. So with this uh, this solo mode, you're actually going to be uh, uh, the, this her the character. His name is Helios, which I think is kind of cool. And the, as, as you can see here, they talk about it's a fully hand-drawn 2D animation, side-scrolling video game in the JRPG type of style, uh, which I think is a lot of fun. And this gives you an idea of the, the cards, what they look like. Uh, so the NFTs will, will be in this kind of style. And uh, another element to the game is uh, beyond this, the player versus player mode, there's actually a, a staking element to this too. So you'll be able to stake your SPL tokens and, and as well as your NFTs and earn rewards back on those. So that's another part of the game as well. So you can stake SPL tokens and earn more tokens. And then you can also stake NFTs and earn unique cards, legendary power-ups, things of that nature. So uh, I think it's gonna be pretty important to play both the single player mode the PVP mode and also do staking of tokens and NFTs. And they have a, it kind of creates a pretty good cyclical type of economy there uh, for all of these in-game items that you're you're earning uh, while you're playing. So uh, then they'll, obviously they're gonna have a marketplace where you can trade all these NFTs and that marketplace will use the SPL token so you can buy uh, in-game items. You can see here some more of the artwork, which uh, is like I said, it's just, it's looking really great. Um, it has this kind of cyberpunky feel to it, right? Uh, so you kind of set in the future, but still feels kind of old and vintage too. Uh, maybe a little bit of feeling of like Final Fantasy in that kind of way. So uh, do do keep in mind though that uh, they have not launched this game, and this game is still in in very uh, early stages of development, and they have not launched the token either. So don't go try and look for it on exchanges. You might be uh, being scammed if that is the case, and they do put a little disclaimer here. Uh, to be able to note of that as well. So hope you guys like this quick look at Ori as an upcoming uh, RPG here on the Solana blockchain. Uh, I think with the look of this game, it, it could be a very exciting and fun game to play. If you love the JRPG style and the 2D side scroller, uh, this is going to be heaven for you. And it seems like the play to earn rewards are actually gonna be really good. And we know Solana has been kicking some butt when it comes to uh, blockchain technology and NFTs and gaming. Well, I hope you guys uh, liked that review of Ori, the quick breakdown. Let me know what you think about the game. Are you a big fan of this style of artwork, or is it something that you would pass on and you're more of a fan of 3D updated type of graphics? Um, but I want to know in the comments. Let me know, right? That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.